Hey everybody, Fred Dex here, and this is Drinking with the Juice Man. I just recently returned from the most amazing trip to the Willamette Valley in Oregon, where I had the opportunity to talk to Aaron Bell, who is the resident winemaker guru of all things Domain Druin, Oregon, aka DDO. We spoke about many different types of topics and conversations, starting right here. This episode is about the Riedel New World Pinot Noir glass. It's just light. The way the wine bounces. See this bowl, the way it distributes, it's just fantastic. This is an amazing glass. Amazing. Right here. Check it out right now. So we have this awesome Oregon Pinot Noir glass. It's the Oregon Pinot Noir glass. Now called the New World Pinot Noir glass, but it was originally designed to be the Oregon Pinot Noir glass. I have to get the backstory. I helped design this glass. So it's one of um, about 20 people that helped design the Oregon Pinot Noir glass. Um, so we, we started with uh, over 25 glasses, some of them prototypes, some of them are existing wine glasses that they were in the series, of, of the Somalia series, uh, Venom series. And we slowly but surely, over the course of about three months, voted uh, different glasses off the island. Kind of a, it was a prototype, it was a hybrid um, between Somalia series uh, tuliped glass and um, a couple other glasses that he had thought would go good with the other one. The reason we chose this glass, the, the tulip of the sommelier glass was uh, where in part of the wine on your tongue was too far back. Um, so we felt you lost some of the textural experience. They lessened the dramaticness of the, of the, of the tulip, of where, where it placed in your tongue. Um, we liked the bowl, so this is actually the classic bowl that you would see of a burgundy glass. It changes here, so the profile starts to slender down here, and then we, instead of tuliping it out, we almost straightened the tulip straight up. And we felt that that gave the best focus aromatically. It was the most friendly as far as showing, um, obviously, that there's alcohol, but not making the wine seem over alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Highly important is for us on this, and obviously, it does focus aromatics, but is where it placed it on the tongue. Mm -hmm. So when you actually you know, take, a, take a taste, Make you kind of put it up front to give you a whole textural experience. What we felt the wine was going was being distributed. It's getting really geeky, but getting it was being distributed farther back on the palate, and so you kind of missed. You had to bring the wine back up front, yeah, yeah. where this gives it on the front, and then you have to. It naturally wants to go back. Yeah. So uh, we just felt better distribution of the of being the wine. That's kind of what we geeked out quite a bit towards the very end of how to get to this glass. So, uh, but I think you opened a can of worms that uh, George. Open a can of worms that maybe he doesn't, he didn't want to, because you know, of course, what came asking after, like, well, you made an Oregon Pinot Noir glass, can't we have a, you know, a Santa Barbara County Pinot Noir glass or Marlboro County, something, you know, something Blanc glass? Yeah, or, yeah. It goes on and on. Where do you stop? So, yeah. Anyways, that's why this preface at the beginning is that it was called the Pinot Noir glass. It's now the new Pinot Noir glass because I think he wanted to, he wanted to simplify his life. But I think he'll make his. Video.